is up, Rocket Nation, and welcome back for episode number 57 of Dying Light 2. And episode number 56, let's just say we were taken by a con artist, which is okay, though, because through being taken by said con artist, we were actually able to locate a GRE anomaly and complete it, get ourselves a couple of inhibitors, upgrade our stamina even further than it already is, and also get a level up. And in combat XP, we were able to use that combat XP to get uh, an, another bow upgrade. So now we're actually able to zoom in while we are uh, holding back the bow, which is awesome. So that was episode number 56. Today's 57, let's jump right in. I'm pretty sure we have a side quest right by where our last side quest was taking place at. I uh, realized it, I seen it come up on the, on the compass up top. So we'll open up the map, we'll see what is out there. Um, I know we have another one that had just shown up. It was a nighttime only one, but the one we're looking for, I believe is a daytime one. So we'll open up the map. We'll see what is going on. Map it should be daytime now, by the way, should be. Um, okay. So here's the nighttime one, the Nick, I believe I don't see it anymore. I think it was like right here. I'm almost positive. It was right in this, in this general vicinity right here. You know what? Let's go and uh, let's go and take a look over there and see if it shows up. We'll just do a quick flight test. You know, we'll do the flight test thing. This should give us a boost. We should be able to get over there. It's only 100 and yeah, right over here by this uh, this rooftop right here that the pointer is on. That is the one where we got our last side quest from. Um, it was showing. A side quest over here somewhere. I believe it was right by this building. Yeah, right there. It just showed up. It just showed up. I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. Let darkness and ignorance reign. Ignorance leads to repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Very true. The definition of insanity. Wait a minute. And I don't need no mohawks to know that. I see what you did there. That is a Far Cry 3 reference check all the way thank you so much for that i appreciate you uh rip voss love that that was one of the best villains ever in video games um so yeah i'm not sure why this happens sometimes i will get close to these they'll appear and then we start up another episode and then all of a sudden there's no quest marker that is on the map um so like right now this one's on the map then sometimes it isn't so yeah so this is called history quiz uh, we're going to get a couple of rewards. I don't know what that one on the left is, but we're going to get 400 didgeridoos, which is always nice. Um, let's come in here and see. Is this a Craftmaster? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, Craftmaster upgrade. Can we do any upgrades? We can do this one. We have only five infected trophies right now. Or seven, I'm sorry. But that's, we need more. We need more. All right, so you know what? I am going to upgrade that. Can we do fire arrow ones too? Maybe this guy can't. We need, I believe we need military tech. Yeah, military tech for the paraglider. That has two more upgrades that can be done on it. Um, at some point, I would like to go out and get my farm on. and Because uh, we need a lot of infected trophies. As you see, 25 for this one upgrade. That heals for 200. That's almost our entire health pool right there, which is awesome. I would love to have that. Um, there's all these that need to be upgraded, of course. Uh, <laughs> I need to farm. I need to get my farm on. All right, let's come out here and talk to this gentleman. Let darkness and ignorance reign. Ignorance leads to repeating this. Yeah, I already heard it. What you. are you ranting about, mister? Ranting? <laughs> Look Son, at this guy's I'm haircut. trying to safeguard our collective memory. I'm only trying to preserve history. Seems like a big task. Can one man even do that? I have a good background for that. For 30 years, I was a tourist guide. Oh, well then. After the <laughs> fall, I founded Villador's... Historical Conservation Society. Eh, doesn't seem to be much to conserve around here anymore. Thank the renegades for that. Still, more than ever, we must remember our past. We must keep track. Otherwise, we'll slip into the dark ages for good. True. We can't build a future for humankind if we don't know our history. What do you say I ask you two or three questions about that? See if you've been paying attention. See if you do know our past. Ah. So, you ready to talk history now? Here's the problem I have with this, okay? My brain is like a filing cabinet. You know, it has a certain capacity 
And at a certain point when it's full, I just take what's in the filing cabinet and dump it out and then start refilling it, okay? What you're looking for may have already been dumped. It's not a big filing cabinet. It's a relatively small filing cabinet is what I'm saying. Um, but sure, why not? Let's do Also, you know what? Can I just say it? This man's haircut looks like it was on purpose. Uh, <laughs> this, this clearly looks like a hairline and he just shaved it off in the middle. Maybe it's the sign of the times. I don't know. I don't, I just, it's, it's making me uneasy. Also that little smirk that you have too. Let's sure. Why not? Let's go. I can try. Good. Let's start with one of the defining moments of our history. A tragic event that had such an impact, it still defines how the city looks today. Here goes. Okay. What event went down in history as Black Monday? I think I know this. I think I know this. I'm pretty sure that was the chemical bombings of 2025. I'm pretty sure. That would be the chemical strikes on the city 11 years ago. Correct. Correct. On January 6th, 2025, at 0800 hours, the butcher, the butcher, Colonel Williams, decided to use a newly discovered chemical compound, the THB Gen Mod, to stop infection. Hope of reclaiming control of the city turned to tragedy. Millions of residents were killed. It also caused terrifying mutations of the infected, turning them into what we now call specials. The chemicals are still active today. Don't get near them. I won't. I mentioned the March massacre before. Oh, I know this Any one. Any clue what happened on this day? I absolutely do. The army killed 64 civilians protesting against disarming them. The army killed 64 civilians protesting against weapons confiscation. You actually have been paying attention. I have. This is correct. This shooting was the beginning of escalation of riots in the city which finally led to the fall of General Pratt and Colonel Williams taking over. The army confiscated all the guns and ammo. It all started there, south of Houndfield, by the monument of the World Art Congress. The last question. Can I get it? Let's go for a moment out of Villador, taking a global perspective. Before mutating, THV was simply known as Haran virus. Haran is where it all started. I know, I was there! But do you remember when the Haran events happened? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, okay, now, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the game, when it was released, it was, like, real time. It was happening at the same time as when the game released. So I'm going to go, I believe it was spring of 2014. In early spring, 2014. Bravo! I did it! I'm impressed, I did it! Man. Indeed, the virus emerged during Haran's Global Athletic Games in 2014 and went dormant after the city was quarantined. It was subsequently turned into an exclusion zone by the GRE. I remember those would-be games. I even took a week off to watch them. My country had many metal prospects. No one expected it would become hell on Earth. But that's the part everyone knows and never talks about, since it's what caused the fall. I commend you on your knowledge, young man. Never stop seeking more. And never forget, we're always just a few burning history books away from darkness. Here's a small token of my appreciation. What is it? Should teach you a bit about one of my favorite parts of the city. The catacombs. The catacombs? What? Wait, there's catacombs here? Side quest completed, history quiz. Thanks, bud. Um, artifact collectible, the catacombs. Okay. So you some some of these are actually hidden. You need to actually um you need to do side quests in order to get a few of the collectibles. The catacombs right there. The Velador Office of Tourism presents the history of the catacombs. The world's great metropolises have always struggled with the problem of burying their dead. Many turn to the same solution as Velador. The construction of a vast network of underground crypts. The catacombs. 
Adapted from former mining tunnels in the 12th century, they would stretch several dozens kilo dozens kilometers, several dozens kilometers, dozens of kilometers. I feel like would be proper uh, if laid end to end. And it is believed that over half a million people have been laid to rest in them. Legend has it that priceless treasures can be found hidden among the graves in the catacombs. And that secret tunnels extend to the outskirts of the city. Catacombs. Awesome. I don't ever want to go down there in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, is all I'm saying. Um, that's a horrible idea. All right. Well, that was a nice and quick one right there. Um, well, since we're out and about, we might as well... Uh, you know what? We have these. Let's go. This is probably going to be a night runners, uh, night runners hideout. Um, let's find out. Nailed it. First try. Jump. Okay, I just completely. <laughs> just, he's like, no, I'm not going to grab that monkey bar. I don't care what you do. Take heed and bear witness. For this is the news of the last city standing. The lighting is nutty Today, in this game. New developments surrounding a baffling unsolved mystery. Where are our guns? Okay, well, so this one we keep hearing over and over again. Soon have an answer. This morning, a renegade was captured by a peacekeeper patrol on St. Paul Island. He claims to be a former yeah. aide of General Pratt. We did hear that. All right, so is this it? Whoa. Here we go. All right, nice. Repair. And then we'll F it again. Start her up. New Knight Runner hideout. Yeah. This should be a little bit of parkour XP for that as well, so bonus. Bonus. Looks like there's another one that right over there. Here, let's do this. Yeah, right there. Right dead in front of us. Whee! I love the paraglider. Absolutely love it. Yoink. Uh, parkour challenge? Is it, it's on the roof. It's up on top of the roof. Activate the safe house. I am. I am activating it. And another one. Beautiful. Um. Oh, it's dinner time. The locals are feeding. Uh, shall we try this? It's another park. We haven't done a night runner trial in quite a while. Parkour control test. Um. So this is night runner trial seven. Um, to heck with it. Let's go. 50 seconds for 944 agility. I think I can make this happen. All right. Um. Are we doing the airborne thing? Uh, do it. Thank you. That was weird. And now we have to what? Land? Okay. I feel like I'm going really slow right now. Um, why? <laughs> Dude, why are you doing that? Why don't you just grab onto the second one? And it, oh boy, this is yeah, this is a mess already, isn't it? think we're gonna get this 50 oh we were really close that was the last one i thought there was gonna be more after okay so we we're really close on that one let's do it again run it back we got it this time imagine if we if we just got it right off the bat and we didn't have to do those weird things where he like double jumped a couple of times and did some weird stuff Already off to a better start. Can I just, you know what? Let's try this. Oh yeah, way better. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, 
we got this easy. This is record breaker. That is record time right there. Has anybody ever gotten better than 42 seconds right there? Put it down in the comment section if you have. I feel like that one's hard to beat. That was, that was damn near perfection, boys. Woo! Very good one there. All right, so we got that done. Um, I wonder if we should wait until night and go and try and do this. You know what, let's mark this. Can we wait here? Um, I have mixed results with the, with getting these to work. Okay, yeah, so it'll let me wait till night. Sometimes it will let me rest at these and sometimes it won't. There'll just be no button to press there. Let's wait until night and let's try and go do that GRE anomaly. I feel like another GRE anomaly, another technological upgrade would be amazing. Um, so it is that way. Let's do this. Excuse me. Whee. Is this it right here? I don't think this is it. I think we're getting close though. I just, I think I just kicked an infected on the way through. All right, um, so let's get some fire arrows out. We got everything ready. Oh, right, there we go. Oh, that's good damage. Oh, that's good damage right there. I'm not sure why that went out. Was it a denial of service attack on me? We'll see about that. Quit spitting, quit spitting at me. So much damage. I don't think I hit with that one. Oh yeah, he's on fire. Oh, we got multiple spitting ones. Is he dead? I think we got it. I think we got it. Knock it off. We'll get up here. Dude, there's so much spit coming at me. We got him. Oh yeah, we did. All right, so where did, let's take this because we need those infected trophies. Where did the, um, did he disappear? I think we lost the body. Here, take that fools. Uh, I think we lost the body of our, uh, of our revenant again. So this continues to happen over and over again. Every time I do one of these GRE anomalies, the body of the remnant just despawns and uh you you don't end up getting it um ever getting it uh looted and it feels bad am i using the regular i'm using fire arrows for that oh i don't know where that one was that lag in a single player game Add her up. Pretty sure I had lag in a single player game there. Also, I wish you could grab the arrows back like you could in the previous game. I really do. I guess they probably want you to have a, a time sink. You know what I mean? Sort of a grind. A reason to go out and farm a little bit. And go to like the different areas that they have. Um, all right. So that was pretty. That was on the easy side. Let's head up here. I don't know why you grabbed on that ledge first, but okay. All right. Let's get in here. Yeah, buddy. What are we getting? Unique sneakers. All right. And two inhibitors. Awesome. Okay. Not what I was trying to do, but whatever works. Is that everything here? 
immunity booster. Get up here. All right, well, let's uh, let's jump in here. It looks like we still need one more inhibitor in order to be able to level up that again. Um, you know what? Let's get out of the area, and it'll actually complete this for us. You actually have to leave for it to complete. Um, mistakes were made. Oh, boy. Mistakes were made. Oh no. GRE anomaly completed. Wow, that was an absolute tragedy almost. Alright. What happened at the Well there it is! <laughs> A lot. Good night, Aiden. Good night! Um, how does he know I'm going to bed? I'm not going to bed. Alright. Well beautiful, there it is. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another episode of Dying Light 2. As always, if you guys are liking this series, thumbs up these videos. If you dislike them, thumbs down. And if you guys want to be notified when the next episode goes live, all you guys got to do is click that sub button and the little bell notification icon, and YouTube will let you know every time a new episode goes live. Thank you guys so much. And as always, remember, life is short. Pause save, and I will see you in the next episode.